M0 FXP, welcome back to the channel. Let's install the firmware for the Kenwood D75 version 1.03. There is one thing you do have to do is back up your radio first and at the end of the install, when you watch the rest of this video, you will have to factory reset it. I'm gonna show you both things now. So on the 75, go menu, go to the SD card. Of course, make sure you've got a micro SD card and that you've saved to it at least once. So we enter. And if it's the first time you've ever put the micro SD card in this set, press, uh, I would format it and save, yeah? And then I would go to export. Remember, format is here, by the way. Export, and I would save everything. Now you've got two choices config data or config data and v message i would go enter or press ok and it's going to say i've already done mine looks like a, only the top one actually worked <laughs> let's do that again i'll go ok menu sd card export yeah top one's working fine so you've got that on your sd card now we'll go menu like so Go across to settings. We'll go down to system, and there's your reset option. Well, we're not going to do that now. We're going to do that right at the end, and we'll get, then we're going to restore everything. M zero FXB, welcome back to the channel. Kenwood D seventy five have released their new firmware, version one point zero three. There's a few items listed here. It says improve the accuracy of the battery level indicator, enables setting gateway CQ as a destination, and then it goes on and on there. Okay, so I'll, I'll put this list in for you. So to download this, just scroll to the bottom of the link I have provided in the description. And of course, you need your, your virtual comm driver, your USB driver, so click that at the top first and run that before you connect the cable to your PC and that's nice and straightforward just let you download it and run it like so we're just gonna zip it so it go into my downloads folder there just here just click the down arrow and look it's there look and I'll run it even though I've already got it I'm gonna double click 64 <coughs> and I'm gonna run the XC And then it it just ran it, entered it. So it's all that's all installed. Then go down to the bottom, click agree, and then this time you're going to get the actual zip for the firmware. So click that. Again, it's gone into my downloads. I've created a new file called D75 just here on the right. So to do that, you just go right click, new folder and then it creates a new folder and you can name it, yeah? I've already done that. So we'll click the download, like so, and we'll extract it to that folder. So we'll go extract, and we'll find the folder that I called D, D, I called it DD75 firmware, click OK, and it's gone in there. If we look inside that folder, double clicking it, you'll see all the items that you need just here on the left. Double click, like so. Everything is here that you're gonna need. Now you do need to get your radio into firmware mode, so turn it off. Turn it off. Connect the cable as well, and you need a proper data cable as well. And also, actually, before I do that, before I turn it off completely, make sure you're in USB mode and you've got a fully charged battery, so go menu and see the setting cog here go to that enter then go down to interface or up and just i will just put them all on usb yeah the other one is to type if you type 980 so we'll just go uh, menu 980 just make sure that's com and af is selected not mass storage okay so menu Okay, so you got it there and um, we're going to turn it off get the cable in there we're not in we're not in firmware mode yet get the cable in 
a bit fiddly, but anyway, we're in there. And then this time, when we turn it on, we're going to hold down the one and the PTT. So one, PTT, and then turn on. And this is what you will see, version 1.2. So we're all ready to run the firmware file. And the firmware is actually inside the file. So double click. And you'll get this warning. Just click more info and then run. Got your agreement conditions there. Click OK. Right click your Windows squares at the bottom. Just look for your device manager, which is here. Where it says ports, double click. Look at your port and you should have THD75. If you've got that, you've installed the USB driver correctly. You've got this warning here with the instructions. So you saw that, if I just click out, you saw that my device, I'll just do it again, device manager, the COM number was 57. So it says here, install a full charged battery pack, turn the transceiver off, turn the transceiver on while pressing the PTT and the one key, connect the transceiver with a data USB-C, close the window. Okay, so we just go like this. And we're going to go to 57, like so. And you don't have to upload the firmware file because it does it for you. Just click Update. Click OK. And it says Ready. And I think it takes a couple of minutes. You can see that it's saying Era you know, Erasing Flash. It already says version 1.03. Just let that run. You know, it's always scary doing firmware, isn't it? It's like, oh my God. But they are promising more firmware in the future as they find, you know, some things that may improve the radio. If you've just got this, you know, I mean, look at the D74. That lasted for like, is it like six, seven years. So, you know, you've got it for a long time. And when you're in this, this state, do not touch anything, literally. Don't touch the cables, don't touch the power, just literally leave it alone what, until it completes. I'll probably test something, what else we got here? Enables setting gateway CQ as a destination option in D-Star terminal mode. Because terminal mode, I'm sure it's gonna be fantastic. Terminal mode similar to, to DR mode for specific gateway applications, not used for standard reflectors. That's the one we want really. Is, we do want that bit that is not useful. When editing the D star call sign list, a slash cannot be set at the beginning of the call sign to designate the gateway connection repeater. So that's revised. They've added the slash. The call sign of the D star APRS sensor may, may not be sent out correctly. When power is turned off in DR mode, the reverse status is incorrectly backed up. Okay. If the hotspot list is not set default, selecting edit or clear will result in a reboot. The initial shipment firmware was 102. The next firmware update is planned in several months. And there you are. So that's it. We have now got the new firmware. So we'll just escape. And we turn it on and off. Hello, and then we just go menu, settings, system, and there we are. And as far as I can see, it hasn't lost my memory channels. That's all good. And if we go to VFO, then DR mode. Yeah. We now have the latest firmware. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. And remember that you have a digital menu as well. Watch this. F digital. Let's escape. Here we go. F digital. Ta-da! Digital function menu. Remember you got that as well. This radio is packed. And if you escape again, you go to the B band and hold to the right. Look at all the bands you can get. 
eventually HF. That's what you don't get on hardly any handhelds that transmit. Bye for now. 7-3, all the best. Of course, HF is only receive on this radio. Okay, we've done the install. Very happy that we've now got version 103 on there. Look again, menu, system, ta-da. So now we're gonna factory reset. We're gonna go menu, settings cog, you know, right and left. Go down or up to system, reset, and then we're gonna go full reset. Are you sure? And click okay. And that will make sure that all the new configuration is on your radio. And look out for the battery symbol and, and, and hopefully your battery will, will last a bit longer now. We're not sure about this, but there's a couple of little bugs there which you can read about in the instructions for this firmware that we've got, got just here. And of course that link will be, will be there. You can see everything is listed there. So now we're just going to quickly restore it. Look, because we factory reset it, it's lost all its settings, but we're going to go menu. Turn that down. Back to the SD card. Import. Config data. We've got all those times that we saved. And it should load back up. And this time all my brightness settings should be back as they were. And how I like it. Ta-da! And there you are. I've got DR mode if we want it. So we're going to keep an eye out and see if we've noticed any obvious changes. But thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Thanks to Don Arnold as well uh, for all his support regarding this product. And yes, definitely check out the instructions, you know, before you attempt this and they're all here for you. Bye for now.